the fact that these backups in the NFL are showing out. They showed they AS this weekend in a good way. Um, Eric Boom, Salvary, Boom More Sports. We in the building tonight. It's going down. A lot to talk about. College football, NFL. We're going to have a good time in this conversation. It's going to be quite interesting because what's the most quite interesting thing about this conversation? The fact that these backups in the NFL are showing out. They showed they AS this weekend in a good way. Um, let's talk about Justin Fields and the Steelers. The Steelers are 3-0. Uh, Justin Fields and George Pickens seem to be have connection. They, they seem to be having a good year. It seems like Justin Fields, now that he's been able to fit in a situation with a great uh, head coach and a team that's already built around him, he seems like to be the missing piece of all what the Steelers need to just progress and go forward. Uh, his mobility stands out on um, uh, uh, extraordinarily and I would say again that that connection him and George Pickens who you know they spent time at Georgia together years ago um, seems to be working out really really well um, it's gonna be really hard for Russell Wilson to get his spot back because if your team is 3-0 they're rolling they're doing everything that needs to be done to to, to win the game um, there's no turnovers there's no 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 uh, any I don't know craziness happening I think that when you take that all into account how can you give Russell Wilson uh the the job back if you've already built up this chemistry now we talked about it before week one is kind of like an extension of the preseason week two you're kind of making adjustments and then week three and week four your team is solidified and you really have your team has an attitude your team has all it needs to go forward uh and you kind of in the trenches with everybody so i don't know how you mess up that that chemistry and bring russell wilson back in unless he just you know in practice and, and everything else in between um has just shown to be leaps and bounds better um that being said you know having russell on your team as i guess the backup quarterback is, is nothing no no small feat and you know we'll is a great insurance for the rest of the season but right now i just think it's justin phil's job to keep moving on let's talk about malik willis malik willis he was drafted high uh, as the tennessee by, by the tennessee titans he was supposed to be the next qb I, I remember watching his highlights now don't kill me when i say this his highlights at liberty obviously they weren't playing the highest competition but the way he moved around um, in the pocket, his highlights kind of look like Mike Vick, but not as fast, right? Don't kill me for saying that once again. But I remember I had high hopes for him. Um, you know, want to see the brothers win at the quarterback position, and uh, he has shown out, shown up, and shown out in in relief of the Green Bay starting quarterback. Ah, what's his name? Uh, just a big highest paid guy. Um, beat the Cowboys. The beat the brakes off the Cowboys. What's the Malik Willis? Malik Willis has filled in well for, for Jordan Love. I mean, he's got the Packers moving the ball. Uh, I think that he's he has, I don't know if, he has a different running style than Jordan Love. Um, just a little bit more athletic, and he just, he, he, has, he has like zero hesitation when he runs the ball. And uh, I like the Green Bay's. I, I like Green Bay Packers uh, style. I don't know if they've taken his offense from college and just adjusted the game to him or if this is just all the stuff that we will be seeing with Jordan Love. But um, he's filled in admirably. And you got to think, like, a couple weeks ago, everybody was worried about him with making the Titans roster. He gets traded to the Green Bay Packers, and he's been doing his thing. The Packers have looked really, really good. Um, I like the way he's thrown the ball as well. Um, it, it looks like he just has a chemistry with the Packers receivers and it only looks like they're going to get better because there's a couple of drives that stalled um, and they had to settle for field goals. But it looks as if the Packers have the right stuff. And then obviously the, defensively, they've been holding it down. Their defense looks really, really tough right now. Um, and they just have all the, the, the makings of a team that's going to go to the playoffs and maybe even far into the playoffs. Um, we can also 
We talked about Justin Fields. We talked about Malik Willis. Let's talk about moving on to the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton has the Carolina Panthers looking really, really good. A week after they benched Bryce Young. I mean, I'm not sure what to say. Uh, you know, competent quarterback play uh, means a lot. And that's the same roster, the same team that they had with Bryce Young. And they 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 smacked the shit out. They smacked the shit out the Raiders. They smacked that. F out the Raiders. I mean, I did not expect the Raiders. Uh, as much film as there is out on Andy Dalton, I would not expect the Raiders to have lost the game the way they did. And, you know, shout out to Antonio Pierce. Hope that they clean it up this week and get it together. Um, maybe they should have traded for Andy Dalton instead of Gardner Minshew. I don't know. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see. Um, and I remember earlier this year, or maybe a couple weeks ago, there was a lot of hoopla made because uh, Deshaun Watt, Deshaun Jackson said that about Devontae Adams being frustrated if the Raiders don't win this year and may end up at, at the Jets. And I don't know. That's, the, that's looking mighty likely right now. That is looking mighty likely because uh, I don't know what's going on with the Raiders, but come on. Like, I, I'm, 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 I'm team Antonio Pierce. I want to see him win. I want to see him get get it together, and you know, they still got a that that that. And AFC West is 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 a tough thing, so they gotta uh, figure it out real real quick. But uh, shout out to the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton, uh, for holding it down this week. Uh, gotta give him his kudos because you would have thought uh, the Carolina Panthers were were straight boo boo, and then he came in and really just they basically blew the Raiders out. And so uh, that's going to be interesting to, to see.